Today I'm going to show y'all my how, all the equipment you need to track. I'm going to start off with this. This is a sifter. You can buy them at Bass Pro Shops or whatever. If you wanna, wherever you want to buy them at. It's just a sift over the dirt. That way it'll get all the rocks and stuff out. Because if you get rocks in the bed of your trap, sometimes it'll get off on, they won't. It'll make it not set off. I keep a pair of pliers in my bag just to, just in case something gets bent when the animal gets in there, like the dog or anything. And I, I use this to drill my holes in. It, it's faster, it's a lot easier. I, at first I was using it. I was using this. It's called a groundhog. What's the shovel is? Hammer, I meant. It has this little thing in there. You stick in there and twist around and eventually get your hole after a couple minutes. But in this part right here, the head, so blade you dig your trap bed out with this it's nice and heavy i think they're like thirty dollars and you gotta have a pair of gloves to bed your trap with because if you get your scent on there they'll most likely dig it up i use the wolf fang orf anchors and this you gotta have this to drive them down it's just a, it slips into the hole of the anchor and you just nail it down in the ground and then I'm gonna tug up on the trap. I use I just get just a work pad just to help your knees and it maybe help you sit a little bit not be as bad and your knees won't get hurt and dirt all over your knees and stuff. This is for, um, we j me and my daddy just built this one, but, um, you can buy them from, uh, any trapping place, probably, most likely. It's just, you hook this to the, because them earth anchors you ain't going to pull out with your hands. You hook it to the chain and you pry it open. You can use the drill, drill beside it, but I just, it just, this is just makes it a little faster for me. And I, I, I just got one of these, bought one of these. To, if I sell the animals, so I just pull it around their neck and get them out of the trap. And I put them in a little green trap cage to do it. And I, sometimes I'll bring a bucket of dry dirt it won't freeze most it won't freeze most of the time and just that's I just bring it in got to just get it up under a barn or anything really a shed that's been there for a long time and it'll be dry dirt up under there so I, Hope y'all like this video. Go on and hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll see y'all in the next video.